Welcome to Inside PTI, weekly videos designed to get you the trial results you want, agronomy explanations you need, and insights that'll set you up for success on your farm. Hey, we are at the Pontiac PTI farm, and behind me is one of our high management studies we have in soybeans. And I guess what we're trying to do with this, this study is just learn about what we can do to hopefully increase yield, increase production, on soybeans and we do take account economics as well we still you know we want to increase yield but we want to be more profitable doing it as well so we're monitoring both aspects of this and as we have growers from really all over the country come out and visit us here at PTI this year one of the questions has been what are you trying to do to get some of the yield increases to try to grow 100 bushel beans 150 bushel beans whatever and I want to share with you one of the things that I'm trying this year I guess I've always kind of thought about this particular aspect of growing soybeans, but it involves carbon dioxide. And as you think about growing soybeans, what are three things soybeans need to grow? And it's water, it's sunlight, and it's carbon dioxide. Those are the three things we need, uh, as well as plant food as well, but those are the three essential things we have to have. And what I've been thinking all along here is, what if I can increase the carbon dioxide levels out in the bottom of the can canopy underneath these soybeans, provide them with extra carbon dioxide to see if we can stimulate these beans to get more pods, more beans. So how are we doing this? Well, one of the things that, that I think it's interesting to, to follow is what's normal carbon dioxide readings just outside in the air normally and I've got a carbon dioxide meter here it shows ambient air temperature and it reads carbon dioxide readings in, in uh, parts per million and right now we're reading about 81 degrees um, air temperature and carbon dioxide readings are about 357 parts per million so that's what these beans have to work with pulling carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, okay? And so with beans, we're gonna use carbon dioxide and they're gonna basically release oxygen, okay? So actually this is a good thing when it comes to people talking about uh, carbon dioxide increasing um, global warming, if you will, but these crops are using carbon dioxide and that's a great thing. Now we are trying to add a little bit more carbon dioxide just to see if these soybeans will respond. It's my opinion that call it global warming, whatever you want to call it, but I think carbon dioxide levels have increased over the last um, maybe five, 10 years, and that's why we're seeing some of these higher yielding soybeans as a result. So one of the things that we want to monitor here, if we add CO2 levels to soybeans inside the canopy, will we get any response yield-wise with these beans? So we're running about 358 right now on parts per million on carbon dioxide. We've got our tank system set up and we're just doing some small plot research. It's not like we're pushing carbon dioxide on 80 acres or anything like, like that. It's just small plot research, but we've got tanks full of CO2. We've got a regulator. And basically what we did was we took airline from uh, something similar to what we'd use on clean sweep on the planter to supply air to our clean sweep cylinders on our residue managers. We're running that line in the center of the canopy, center of the row, and that's what's emitting the CO2 in the soybeans. So let's go out into this soybean canopy. We'll measure parts per million of carbon dioxide inside the canopy as well as outside, and we'll see if we're increasing levels, and then uh, we'll talk about more if we can increase yield as a result. So we're out here in the bean field. This is where we're running our CO2 lines in the field. I've got my CO2 meter here above the canopy. We're running 380. Okay, we're running 76 degree ambient air temperature, 381 part per million of carbon dioxide. Now we're gonna go down into these soybeans. You can kind of see the height of these soybeans. We're gonna go down to the bottom of the canopy where we've got the air line running the CO2 and we'll see how this number increases if, it, if, it's, if it's going to. All right, we're down here in the canopy. We've got our air line coming through, emitting our carbon dioxide and we are picking up increased levels. Um, of carbon dioxide, but it's only in the bottom of the canopy. If I raise my, my meter up above the canopy, we start going down back to those normal levels that we talked about. But it looks like we're, we're somewhere around a 3X level of carbon dioxide inside this canopy. So we are increasing the levels. Now it's just a matter of will these soybeans absorb this CO2, use it for growth, use it for production, and increase yield. But it does look like we're increasing levels here, but 
I know we're gonna have folks calling in saying, oh geez, you know, you're pumping carbon dioxide out into the atmosphere. That's not helping with global warming. I'm not picking that up. We're getting high CO2 levels down in the canopy, but we're getting normal atmospheric levels up here. So it appears to me based on our CO2 levels that the soybeans are using this CO2. So today's inside PTI agronomy tip of the day. You know, I think if we're gonna push yield on soybeans, we have to understand how soybeans work. And again, these soybeans in this high yield management study, they're gonna require water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight, okay? And I can't manipulate sunlight. That's something that we can't change. Um, I can uh, manipulate water. We've got an irrigation system here where I can change the amount of water. If it's not raining, I can add more water in here. But what about carbon dioxide? That's what we're trying to do, increase these levels to see if we can, we can fire these soybeans, stimulate them to get more pods, which would give us more beans per plant. I don't know if it's gonna work, but that's one of the jobs we have here at the PTI farm, trying to experiment and understand what these beans want. And if they want them, can they reward us with yield? So for any information that you need or any questions that we've talked about today, you can contact any Precision Planning Premier dealer, or you can go to our website at precisionplanning.com. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside PTI.